So I'm Ian Pepper, so I'm Director of Technology Innovation, which is a, a global role within Novartis. I'm based in Novartis Ireland office in Dublin, and I've been with Novartis for eight years, having various different roles in the technology area. My current role is about um, new technologies and emerging technology. Um, what I do is I figure out if a new or emerging technology could be of um, benefit to Novartis and then figure out what the strategy is to adopt and introduce that technology to the organization. Um, so examples would be things like quantum computing, um, 5G technologies, for example, um, and then other very technical things such as um, semantic um, natural language processing, um, things like that which have um, which has already been introduced to the organization, which I worked on a couple of years ago. Um, so that's the kind of area I worked in. So it's not necessarily looking at products from vendors, but it's more technology um, that may be, you know, new or emerging and see, could that be mapped into our organization to deliver some business benefit? Innovation means to me, um, I think I think we need to take a step back. A lot of um, what people describe as innovation isn't really innovation. It's more continuous improvement, which is, you know, you start on a path, deliver something, and then you incrementally add features, benefits, etc., to it. Um, when I think of innovation, I'm thinking more of what I would term, and you, you often see this, um, bandied about as disruptive innovation. So it's coming up with something um, completely new that changes the game, so to speak, um, and delivers some wild business benefit. So, you know, thinking a 10, for example, a tenfold increase in productivity. So looking at something like that um, is really what I consider to be innovation. And that's really what it means to me and the organization. And when we have this whole thing of 10x benefits from, from anything that we do, if it doesn't deliver 10 times the benefits, um, then it probably isn't worth doing and it's definitely not innovative. I think what you have to do is, um, and anyone can be innovative in an organization, but it's actually getting it, getting listened to and um, being able to deliver is the hard part. So what we've often seen in, in large organizations is they, they will have a dedicated innovation team, for example. And in some cases, they might even have a chief innovation officer um, or, you know, someone who has that role. It might be the chief technology officer um, has that dual hat. Um, and, and that's the way. So you need buy in from from the top. Um, to do innovation um, at scale and, and earnestly. So that's the first thing is someone needs to have responsibility for it. Um, someone needs to be given that, um, you know, that hat to wear, that they're, that they're the innovation person and are responsible for it. And then they need time and budget as well to do it. Now, you can, there are processes you can put around innovation. You know, you can use things like, um, you know, design thinking, um, lean, all these methodologies, but they're more about executing once you have the idea. The hard part is to come up with the innovative idea. Um, and that's very often, um, you know, you, you need people who have the space and the mind, give them the mind space to look at how we do things and challenge the status quo. And that's really where innovation, what I've seen where innovation comes from. Um, over my career. Um, sustainability is um, an interesting one. Um, you know, to make it sustainable, again, you need people who are delegated to do, the, do this type of work um, and who are mandated to do it uh, and bring it into the organization. Yeah, well, I think it's it's a great honor to be invited to it, <laughs> which is very nice. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of people <laughs> clamoring for places on, on, on such, an, such a prestigious event. And um, so I'm actually looking forward to um, 
the panel um, to speaking and exchanging ideas with the other panel members um, and also networking with the, the delegates at the event. I think those kind of things um, are invaluable. You know, networking with people, you know, outside of the kind of industry I work in is very valuable and, you know, ex sharing experiences and best practice will be very valuable for, for me and the others I hope as well.